Most time to get down and dirty in the mud for an incredible cause. This is the 20th annual Kerry Tingley Hospital Foundation's Mud Volleyball Tournament. It is almost here. It's time to get your team together. Time to register. We're going to talk all about that this morning with the chair of the event, Phil Prevender, also with Arturo Vargas, who is one of the young men who benefits from the Kerry Tingley Hospital Foundation. Good morning to both morning. of you. Good morning. How are you, Matt? I'm doing well, thanks. And Good. you too? Good. Okay, we'll talk about the tournament in just a little sure. bit, but I want to talk about with you, Arturo. How much does it mean for you to have the help from Kerry Tingley? It's great. Um, I've been benefiting from the Kerry Tingley Foundation for my whole life, and they've been great to me with anything that I need so what great. kinds of things specifically does the hospital and the foundation do for you um, well I benefit from getting all my medical needs um, my my wheelchair mm -hmm. and all that stuff comes from them and um, I also get to meet new friends and do different activities like the sports camp and things like that so so it's kind of a, it's obviously they, they help out with the things that cost money and then just social right. activities and making you feel good. Exactly. Where, what do you think, uh, how do you think things would be if it wasn't for the foundation and the hospital? I couldn't imagine, man. Um, I, I just, I get so much mm -hmm. from this is my biggest help and there's just so many things that I benefit with my whole life. Yeah. yeah. So what's it mean to hear that? You know, it's awesome. We have a wheelchair sports or a, a basketball team. He's on that. And we just got some new chairs. Sweet. I, I've not seen the chairs yet, but he tells me those are uh, they're fast. They're good. Oh, they're yeah. good. They're fast. All right. Very good. cool. Yeah. Look, you have to have you and some of the guys and yeah. come on at them and play a little game. One Unfortunately, time. we didn't bring the basketball for him. But yeah. We do have your volleyball, right? <laughs> okay. We're talking about the. Sure. Obviously, for people like our show, it costs money. Sure. Out. It costs a lot of money. Sure does. So one way you raise it is the big it's mud through volleyball. Through mud volleyball, tournament. our 20th annual, if you can imagine yeah. that. We'll raise over $600,000 this year, and we can buy lots of these for that 600000 bucks. 600000 dollars for just one event. Well, you say one event, it's a one-day event, but I'll tell you, it's a lot of planning. <laughs> Trust it's a me. Year, it's a year-round <laughs> campaign a lot of work. for That's the right. one event. That's right. Okay, big deal. People... Uh, can still sign up because this Correct. thing always sells it out. It always sells out. It'll probably sell out here about another three to four weeks. Okay, so, so what do people need to know if they want to get their team together? How many people? How much does it cost? Are you still looking for sponsors? Do you have some good tents available? Yeah, we certainly got a lot of tents. If you want a sponsor, we're certainly welcome to have a sponsor out there. You can go to our website, CarrieTinglyHospitalFoundation.org, okay. or call the foundation, 243-6626. Okay, all that information, yeah. by the way, is on our website, casa.com. How many people it, on a team or how many people? Twelve people typically on a team. you got to okay. have eight in the mud at all times. Eight in the mud. Half here's ladies. some video from the years yeah, past. Half, half ladies, half, half guys. Yeah. Okay, it, 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 here's the, the thing. You don't have to be a volleyball That's ringer right. to do this. That's this right. is not a two-man beach tournament right. kind of thing. This is just a tournament. Of fun. That's right. And you can see from some of that footage, you don't have to be an athlete. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you know what? It really doesn't matter if right. you're an athlete. I'm not That's sure right. it really makes a difference. But if for people you ask out me there. that all the time, they say, Phil, we don't play volleyball. I say, you don't have to play. It you just got to be out there. It's for the kids. You know, so. I always joke about I'm going to supervise a team because I don't want to get dirty. But, you know, once it, you get in the mud, you're fine. Right. You just got to take that first step. And it's a lot of fun at 9 a.m. is uh -huh. when we start that yep. day on June 7th. And everybody's kind of looking a little nervous to get in the water. And then yeah. once the bell rings, <laughs> boy, it's, it's on. You don't want to be out because it's usually it's hot. It's yes. dusty. Yes. You want to be in the mud. Yeah, you were there last year. Yes, I was. There was I a little bit that. of dust later there's in the day. A little bit of dust. I think I still have it in <laughs> right, my ears right. from that. Arturo, are you going to head out there this year? I definitely am. What's your favorite part about it? Probably the social part of it uh -huh. and just seeing everybody. Um, be with each other and have mm -hmm. a great time. That's what it is. It is an incredible and time. And it's neat. We have a float for the kids this year. So he's going to be on the float. You're going to be on the float? Yeah, his dad That's will be out there exciting. with us. Yeah, it's oh, going to be a lot of fun. Cool. Very yeah. good. I'll Chance see you down there. Chance to participate. You bet. Okay. Again, for all the information on this, head to our website, casa.com. Click on the Casa blog. Phil, Arturo, thanks for coming in Thank this you. morning. Thank you. We'll talk to you guys soon.